Hi, friends, and welcome to the latest edition of Keeping Up with the Jackrabbits. I'm Tyler Merriam, and it is time to talk tickets. The Director of Ticket Sales and Operations in Jackrabbit Athletics, Mr. Jordan Bow, is with us. How are you, good sir? Tyler, I'm great. Uh, excited to be here, a little nervous also, first podcast or... Uh you know, getting in front of the fans other than via phone. So it's it's exciting, but uh, also got a little nerves build up, a little butterflies. You you have no reason to be nervous in my presence. <laughs> that I assure you, Jordan. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> now, what I would like to begin with is that your ties to SDSU, well, actually we go way back because mm-hmm. you grew up not far from South Dakota State. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm originally from Sioux Falls, um, and then uh, I did have two cousins play football in the uh, early to mid-90s, so did have a little bit of ties growing up to directly SDSU, and obviously it was in the backyard. So, uh, Sports management was your major. What to led you down that path? Um, well, first, I was more so interested in athletic training. Um, I knew I wanted to stay in sports. That's where my passion's always been my whole life. And then uh, senior year of high school, I took athletic training one and athletic training two. And then uh, I, well, I guess a part of you know athletic training two, uh, I was running one of the gyms during um, some basketball games and um, a, a girl ended up getting a bloody nose and, uh, deep down, I was in a little bit of a panic and realized, Hey, maybe athletic training isn't for me if I, uh, am questioning how to hold or handle a, a bloody nose. So thankfully there's uh, sports management that's more on the business side of things. And, um, I dove, you know, head first into that. So, uh, just again, thankful that there's another side rather than the medical field. And, the other part of this SDSU connection, which is so unique, is many Jackrabbit fans remember the blistering hot day in Lawrence, Kansas, that opened up the uh, 2015 Jackrabbit football season. And that year, uh, of course, the Jacks won at Lawrence, Kansas, defeating the Kansas Jayhawks. But you were there, and your take on it is a little different than most of Jackrabbit Nations. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it's definitely a little different. Um, I uh, was working for the Kansas Jayhawks athletic department at the time. Um, I was in a uh, ticket sales role down there, and um, yeah, you know, I was excited to have SDSU come down to Kansas. You know, being uh, A person from South Dakota, I was trying to tell the staff and, you know, people I knew like, hey, this wasn't going to be an easy game. I don't, you know, expect this to be like a typical, you know, FCS, FBS competition. Obviously, Kansas was, you know, kind of in a in a rut, Um, still working their way through it. But um, yeah, my side was a little different, Um, wasn't as hyped as uh, the SDSU faithful. I vividly remember, you know, working Um, I was working a table with one of my buddies and, you know, we're talking about, Hey, why can't we win six games this year? You know, we can make a bowl game and first quarter starts off uh, pretty terrible. Second quarter doesn't really go much better. And then, uh, end of the game, I'm staying on the field behind the Kansas athletic director. Our quarterback fumbles a snap and, uh, his knees on the ground clock continues to run. And, uh, we all pretty much walk off the field pretty quickly. Uh, not too happy. So, I have mixed emotions from that game. Obviously now pretty excited about it, being on this side of things. But at the time, I uh, wasn't too happy. So mm-hmm. You obviously wear a few different hats. But tell me, what is the most enjoyable part of your job? I mean, I think that's a um, pretty easy answer. Um, I would say, you know, first and foremost, is just getting to know the fan base. Um, again, it kind of like you mentioned, it's a unique position where – you know, the ticket office, you know, for a lack of a better term, is kind of the voice of the athletic department. Um, you know, people obviously know Justin, they know yourself, they hear you guys all the time. Um, but if they're calling in, you know, they're going to talk to myself, you know, they're going to talk to Cody. So that's kind of the best part is just getting to know each individual. Um, you know, I might not know you personally, but I've probably talked to you on the phone. I probably could tell you if you're a football season ticket holder, if you have basketball, you know, volleyball, soccer, wrestling, you know, anything. I, I probably know where you're located. 
um, or at least I know what tickets you have. So it's uh, it's interesting, but it's it's just great to get to know people and their stories with you know SDSU where they're from, and then also vice versa. You know they get to know me, and I think again one of the really cool parts is you know they ask me questions like how am I doing you know, they get to know my wife, you know, she's a first grade teacher. So I always ask about her, how her school year's going or, Hey, you know, we live down Sioux Falls and they're always looking out for jobs. I'll get stopped, you know, in the, in the you know, the tunnel or in the concourse, like, Hey, a, a school opening came up for, you know, second grade. Did Mary apply <laughs> for it? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll run it by her, but you know, it's cool stuff like that, that, you know, they're looking out for me and, you know, I appreciate that, but yeah, it's definitely just getting to know the fan base, you know, on a personal level. It's the term South Dakota nice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's true. And, you know, you get, I guess, different, you know, regions, you know, you know, being from South Dakota and the people here, you know, I haven't ever experienced anything like it. And, you know, everybody goes above and beyond for each other. And yeah, South Dakota nice is a real thing. That That's a fact. Well, this place certainly is special. Uh, we talk about that so often. And one of the things has been just what we've dealt with here the past few months. And you hear from other universities, other athletic departments around the nation that there's uh, so much uh, consternation from the fan base about what's going to happen. And yet, I know from talking to you, Cody, the development staff, the uh, conversations that are being had with members of Jackrabbit Nation they understand what's going on and yet they still want to be supportive. They're trying to help any way that they can, it seems like. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, first and foremost, with us all working remotely, it's obviously a lot different scenario and situation. You know, we do have a lot of fans that like to come into the ticket office, you know, say hello, do their renewals in person. Um, but you know, now they're understanding like, hey, I do need to leave a voicemail or I need to reach out, you know, with an email. And this might take, you know, an hour, couple hours to get back to them. But when we do, everybody wants to have a conversation about the Jacks. They want to talk about the upcoming season. They want to talk about, you know, past players. They want to just, you know, dive in. You know, everyone's hungry for for athletics and to get back to, you know, the playing fields. But um, on top of that, you know, you're you're seeing a lot of um, I guess fans, supporters, donors, you know, go above and beyond, you know, and then you're also seeing it, you know, in their, you know, support, you know, via the Jackrabbit club, you're, in, you're seeing a lot of people actually, you know, give a little bit more. And obviously again, it goes back to that South Dakota nice <laughs> and just people caring about SDSU, you know, going above and beyond. And, you know, that's what fans continue to do. And, you know, you definitely saw it at the scholarship auction. I mean, it's just unbelievable to do that. And, uh, the circumstances we're under it's just it's it's crazy but it's awesome and that's that's what you know jackrabbits you know that's who they are and you know it's it's what they live every day well we are making plans for a traditional fall sports season but as you talked about for those who are trying to uh, whether it's renew tickets whether it's check out what's going on touch base with you uh, how do you suggest they reach out yeah uh, definitely you know call us you know, via the ticket, um, phone 605-688-5422. Reach out to us via email. Um, our, gen our general email is sdsu.tickets at sdstate.edu. Um, and then, again, a lot of people, you know, do communicate with Cody or myself via our direct emails. You know, continue to do so. Um, but, yeah, if anyone's having any issues, have any questions, reach out anytime. Obviously, this is what we're here for, to be of assistance to you guys. So um, don't hesitate. Obviously, uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And um, hopefully, uh, yeah, like you said, Tyler, we have a, a full slate of games here this fall. And uh, it's it's going to be a good one no matter what. I mean, all of our teams are so strong. It's just it'd be a. Uh, It'd be a bummer not to have the full slate, but hey, what we have to do is what we have to do, and uh, we'll we'll just take it one day at a time. We're gonna think positive, and somehow, That's some right. way, we're gonna make this happen. Jordan, always good to catch up, and uh, let's get together here uh, safely real soon. Absolutely, Tyler. Thanks so much for having me on, and uh, go Jacks. He is Jordan Bow. He has survived his first podcast, the director of ticket sales and operations. I'm Tyler Merriam. Thanks for joining us on Keeping Up with the Jackrabbits.